I'm sitting here with my mind uh, going over the host um, Wachuma experience. It's maybe it's three months later, January, and uh, two months later. So um, I wanted to share what's been going on. And uh, it's, it's only because I'm getting a, a strong prompt to do that right now. And of course, it's for me, but I may be sending this out. Um, so two of the women that were in the retreat with me, Tamara and Nitha, have come down here to Mexico. And um, as soon as they got here, we, we joined right away. And we started an unbelievable process of sharing, exposing, um, transparency. Um, it's like not one, one thing is slipping past. We're spending hours every day together. Um, and in that time, we're um, either having fun or very intensely sharing and uh, holding space for each other. And that's what I want to talk about. Uh, I realize that what is taking place right now is the aftermath of that uh, plant medicine um, retreat. And all the pieces that came together that are coming together inside of me are, um, it's like I'm exploding right now. Um, so I did do a, a testimony following my retreat experience, just maybe three days afterwards. And I, I went all the way uh, beyond any concept of God in that retreat and landed in the um, I landed outside the dream that's the best way to say it and there were no concepts there there was nothing I could describe about that experience it blew me open but now i see that the hero of the dream using course and miracles terminology was dislodged dislodged in that uh, in that in that wachuma uh, experience and now as I listen to my sisters, because we are sharing and sharing and sharing, I'm able to listen from, I would call it the view, the, uh, the view beyond the character that just is like a passerby that just watches. And as my sisters are sharing, these things are coming up they're not like triggers but they're like a me too experience yeah i know that or me too i'm not saying that when it comes up but different things have arisen like um co normal conversation about my father committed suicide and hung himself to um my my one child was very difficult and she died. And um, it's just, you know, just all these stories that we're sharing. But as we're sharing, my story is spilling out in front of me. And I realized that the character that I went into the medicine experience with is never going to wake up. 
and the story was still spinning like a chicken with her head cut off. And now I see the story coming up and I can see that it was always only in my mind that my brother in his suicide and my feeling like I failed him um, is coming to me all over the place now. It's like, oh my God, I'm still trying to save Danny. And I'm still doing this and I'm, I'm still feeling like I, you know, but I'm catching myself now and realizing, oh no, wait a minute. I don't have to do that anymore. Holy Spirit, take all of this responsibility to save my family. All of this responsibility to basically save anybody that <laughs> that comes to me for counseling or any time that I'm thinking they're, they need help, maybe I can help them. It's all about the hero's story, the character who was in a role to hold things together and save her brothers. So um, I'm very emotional, but <laughs> this is happening every day. So it's good. It's like a weeping out of confusion. It's like a letting go of this heroics. Um, I, my story was like a Greek tragedy. And uh, yeah, I was the heroine. Of course, we all are of our own dream. But that's, I'm passing it on now. And so when I think of doing plant medicine, uh, I see now from a whole different perspective, the incredible opportunity that I took, I, I took to jump in with both feet and let go all the way. Um, and on the, this side, I'm not going to talk about another side because I'm inside the dream, seeing that it's a dream. I'm, or I'm, there's a buffer now and I'm able to, like it was described in the psychotherapy pamphlet, I'm able to see that everybody is bringing me the release. If I can just be really still and allow it to move. And that's what's been happening. It's like moving my, my sisters and their conversation or my conversation. It's like all the pieces are releasing and flying away. God. So this is just another big thank you. Uh, I guess to Suzanne and Laverne and Willow for serving this next process of healing and opening it up so grandly to everyone. And I have to say, if you've been working in the course teachings, this is incredible because it all it's all like the bridge. It's like the bridge opened up that night and I got taken across. And even though it felt like I came back, I didn't. I just have to move this stuff, this character stuff. And it's not work. I just have to be patient and allow everything to be brought to me. Um, I watched um, oh, the Mary Poppins story the other night. That was guided, and I thought, "What? What? Why am I, why am I watching this?" You know, and then whoa! <laughs> it's like, now I know why I was guided to watch it. Uh, yeah. 
So savings Mr. Banks was saving my brothers from what I thought was a Holocaust, what I thought was an apartheid. I thought I was here to help them. And of course I failed. I failed every time I tried because the character never wins. And that's not love. So I just wanted to share this and offer this as in the deepest gratitude that I can possibly verbalize right now. I am cooking. <laughs> I am really cooking and I am so grateful. And I am so in love truly with Mitha and Tamara and all that they're stirring up for me. I just couldn't have orchestrated this any better. <laughs>